I'm Justin Adams with CBS in Denver, and it's time for the picks of the week. Now, two weeks ago, I went three and one, and I'm feeling really good about my picks last week. Just show everybody how good I did. Wait, wait hold on, hold on. Oh, and four? Wait a minute, how did that happen? Uh... Yeah, that's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, look, it's a new week, a new chance to get the picks right, all right? We're going to clean all that up, I guarantee you, okay? Here are my four picks of the week, starting with a huge top 10 Big Ten battle as Michigan heads to East Lansing to take on Michigan State. Now, Michigan, they love to run the football. They run the rock 64% of the time, and Michigan State has one of the most explosive offenses in the college games with seven plays over 60 yards with ties for the best in football. Now, this will be a big... Big win for Michigan, all right? But give me the Spartans in an upset at home. Come on, Mel Tucker, don't fail me now. Now, believe it or not, Tom Brady didn't beat the New Orleans Saints during the regular season last year, and he only did it when it mattered the most, which was in the playoffs. But TB12 is on fire this season. He has the most touchdown passes in the NFL and the second most passing yards as well. I like the Saints in the Superdome, but look, I love me some Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one on Sunday. All right, Sunday night in the Twin Cities, and there is a chance that Dak Prescott won't play in this football game. He has a calf injury. Now, Minnesota, they are looking for a signature win, and they have won three of their last four games. And trust me, I know just how bad Kirk Cousin is in primetime game, but the injury concerns to Dak has me uh, really taking the Minnesota Vikings in this one in a minor upset. Finally, the Denver Broncos take on the Washington football team. We all hope that the Broncos can finally get their act together. They have lost four games in a row. And let's be honest, neither one of those games look really close. But this is the reason why I'm going to pick the Broncos in this one. Jerry Judy is back. Albert Okawebanam, he's going to be back as well. Those two players are extremely important for the Broncos offense. So I'm going to pick Denver to win one very close against the Washington football team. Those are my picks of the week, and as always, send me a line on Twitter at Justin Adams TV and see if you could beat my picks. Tune in on Fridays at 1025 for my four things to watch in the Denver Broncos game. And this week, they take on the Washington football team. I'm Justin Adams, and I'll see you next week.